hi guys welcome back to my channel today's video is a requested makeup tutorial so if you like the way this looks and you want to see how i got it please keep watching starting off with a freshly washed face i'm just going in with my daily moisturizer this is the fountain of truth good day souffle hydrating moisturizer and i'm just applying this all over my face going in with my primer this is the cover fx mattifying primer with anti-acne treatment so I always start off with brows. This is the 24 hour super brow by Kat Von D in the shade Walnut. I don't really like the natural shape of my brows, so I'm kind of making my own shape, but do whatever you like. Taking a spoolie brush, I'm just softening out the edges of my brow so it's not a harsh line. So normally my everyday eyeshadow base is the P. Louise shade in Rumor 2, but I couldn't find it, so I'm using the shade Rumor 0.5, which as you can see is super, super light, but that's okay, we'll make it work. The eyeshadow palette that I'm going in with today is the Wondrous Rush palette, and this is by Wander Beauty. There's not really a transition shade in this palette, so I'm going in with my Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer and just placing that in my crease. Going into the palette now, I'm going in with the shade OTW and I'm placing that right over that transition shade that I just laid down. Going in with this deep brown shade, this is called Swift. I am also placing this all the way into the crease because this is kind of a smoky eye, so it is going to be a little bit dramatic. Going in with this shimmery bronzy shade, this is the shade Avenue, and I'm gonna put this all over my lid. And you'll notice I'm gonna go over it a time or two just because I wanna make sure it's nice and smoky and opaque and just fully covered. Going back to that shade Swift, the dark chocolate brown, I'm just going to place that back into my crease. Just in case we lost any of that intensity, I want to bring that back, so I'm just going to pat that again into my crease. Taking Swift again, I'm just going to place that on my eyelid as kind of like an eyeliner effect. So there's not really a gray or black shadow in that palette. So I'm going to use my Tarlet in Bloom palette. We're going to use this shade Smoke Show. And I'm just going to place that over that dark brown liner that we did just to make it kind of like a gradient effect. Moving right along, I'm going to begin my color correcting routine. You'll notice that I do have a little bit of hyperpigmentation around my mouth, under my eyes, and I also have some breakouts kind of going on on my face, so I'm going to use my color corrector just to make a smooth, even canvas. So I understand that not everybody has to do color correcting, but if you do suffer from hyperpigmentation like I do, this is just, I wanted to show you guys what works for me. I blended out the color correcting stick and now I'm just going in with my Becca Ultimate Coverage Longwear Concealer over that same area and I'm going to blend that out as well. Before I begin applying my foundation, I want everybody to understand that I did just self tan last night so my face is a lot whiter than my body so my foundation is going to look like it's way too dark for me but trust me when I blend it out and everything it's going to look fine. The foundation that I'm using, by the way, is the NYX Can't Stop, Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation, and I promise you guys, this is so full coverage. I really like it. Going in with my cream contour, this is by Anastasia Beverly Hills, and we're just going to contour the face. Next up is my tried and true concealer. This is the Tarte Shape Tape. I'm sure you guys know how great this is. It's my absolute favorite. Once that is applied, we're just gonna blend it out with a damp beauty blender. My toddler decided to use my sponge as a chew toy, so that's why there's missing chunks out of it. Oh, and I also forgot, I am currently in the process of whitening my teeth, so I'm gonna, I usually put it on at the beginning of my makeup routine just because it takes 30 minutes and this is like the best time, so now I'm just setting a timer, but yeah. Going in with my translucent powder, this is the RCMA No Color Powder. I did order this off of Amazon and I saw a bunch of reviews stating that this wasn't the real thing or that it was a counterfeit and it's not good. But honestly, I haven't had any problems with this and I think it's fine. I like it. So I'm, I'm not sure. I don't know what to tell you. I like it. I think it's fine and I did get it off of Amazon. 
Like I previously said, um, I do have hyperpigmentation. So this is just something that I do to kind of counteract those little shadows from coming through. But if you don't have this problem, then you probably don't need to do this step. Now I'm going to set my whole face with the Fenty Beauty setting powder. This is in the shade Banana and I'm just gonna place it all over my face. Contour today is by Lovecraft Beauty, and I don't know how to say the shade name, but it's just the darkest shade in the palette. After contour, I always like to go in with bronzer. Today I'm using the Guerlain Terracotta in the shade 05 Brunettes. Also by Lovecraft Beauty, I am going in with their blush palette, and I'm going to go in with the shade Oscalia. I'm not sure if that's how you say it. I don't know, but it's the darkest shade of blush in there as well. I am a huge fan of blush. I think it gives such a good look, and yeah, I'm, I'm just a fan. For the bottom lash line, I'm going back to the palette and going in with that shade OTW. Now we're going in with Swift, and we're just going to intensify that color. For my brow bone highlight, I am going with the shade Charge. It's a beautiful champagne-y frosty color and I love it for this look. I am also applying that same shade to my inner corner highlight. Now I am dusting off all of my bake. Going in with my Dragon Beauty Transformation Powder. This is a brightening powder. It's not a setting powder. So after I have already set my under eyes, now I'm just going in on top. It's more of like a finishing type product. Today's highlight is Estee Lauder Bronze Goddess um, Highlight, I guess, in the shade Heat Wave. I got this new setting spray. This is the Sweet Grace Baking Spray by Beauty Bakery. It is so cute and pink and it smells like freaking heaven. It smells like donuts. Lip liner today is by KKW Beauty and it is in the shade Nude 1. I love this new e.l.f. lipstick that I got. It says Seriously Satin and I believe it's in the shade Cream. I feel like it's kind of a dupe for the KKW nudes. As you can see, the packaging is clear, just like KKW. Um, I really like it if you guys are on a budget. I am topping off the lipstick with another e.l.f. favorite. This is a lip gloss in the shade Champagne Glam. I'm adding lashes. This I picked up from my local beauty supply store. Never heard of the brand, but I'm going to give them a try. Okay, guys, that is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed this makeup tutorial. If you did, please comment, like, and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next video. I love you so much. Bye!